Hello everybody, this is East Savage with the Blazecraft, and today we're going to be starting a brand new series called CTF Adventures, or Capture the Flag Adventures, which is an MCPVP server at MC... or you... I'll put the link in the description maybe if I remember. Uh, but it's on the MCPVP CTF server, just go to mcpvp.com, and uh, you'll find that. Uh, so anyway... Uh, this is going to be completely live recordings. It's probably just going to be me, then we may get Ben and some, even though he doesn't have all the kits. And each time, we're going to go a specific kit. And as you might be able to see, um, I am going the Assassin Kit. So today, mm -hmm. in MCC, I have to just put myself on Do Not Disturb real fast. But, uh, here in MCCTF, we are going to be playing, um, each individual kit. Have a special episode for each kit. And hopefully it'll be a lot of fun, and we can really outline that kit, and at the same time have some fun with some live recordings, which, uh, we don't do that many live recordings. Uh, mostly because it takes a really, really long time to upload. But today, uh, we're going to be doing the Assassin Kit. Now the Assassin Kit gets these cool golden booties, which don't do much, and an iron sword, which actually isn't that strong either. Uh, I don't know why the ground breaks so this Okay. So then we've got Assassinate and Speed Boost. Speed Boost obviously makes you really, really fast. And Assassinate allows you to one-shot people, but you also are incredibly vulnerable when it is happening. Uh, but you can see right there, it's really, really, really effective. It gives you something like Strength 4. And it just allowed me to totally destroy those guys. Um, it's, I personally like it as a de defensive kit, even though it doesn't really seem like one with a name like Assassin. Ooh, excuse me. Um, but it is, uh, the Assassin kit, and it's a very, very good defensive kit, because if anybody tries to hurt you, you are basically dead because you have such low defense. First of all, you only have these golden booties, and second of all, when you do use your Assassinate, you do become vulnerable, which means you can be one-shot killed just like you can one-shot kill people. Like that. <laughs> but he could have one-shot me if he was looking. Um, so that's a big downfall of the assassin kit. And also, it takes a while for you to regenerate. Maybe like 10 seconds for each time you get, and you can only get a max of three red, or two redstone, and uh, three speed boosts, uh, or sugar. Um, now I really like this kit for defense, because you can chase after people who just stole your flag. And you can also just camp around your base, and use this amazing assassination powers to get anybody who comes near. For instance, if a tank comes into your house and you're just a soldier or something like that, you can't really hold them off, they'll just run back out again. Um, or a soldier can get away fairly easily. But you can use your speed boost to try to catch up with them, and you can use your redstone to take out... Oh my god, I'm tired. To take out anybody in one shot, so it's really effective for uh, just taking out those big guys that most kids can't actually take as easily. So yeah, I really like this defensive kit. You can run in and just basically knock out everybody on the other team's side, um, and then come back and be done. Oh crap, but you see there, you are incredibly, incredibly vulnerable while using this kit. Um, so it is a lot of fun, I greatly recommend it. Um, though it's kind of hard to get used to because it is such a, uh, it's a special kit. It's not to be played like most. Uh, it's to be played in spurts. You want to wait until you can regenerate your redstone or your sugar, and then jump in. You don't want to just go all out on people, uh, like you might do with tank or soldier or something like that. Uh, you want to be very careful with how much redstone you use or how much uh, sugar you use. Uh, you can very easily just go click, 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 and use up all of your stuff. And then you have to wait for the tediously long experience bar to load all the way back up, as you can see. So right now we're kind of kicking ass. This guy Slingshot, I think, has two captures out of the three that we're supposed to have now. Um, GG Sling. Um, but, uh, it's really effective for guarding the base. I don't know if I wasn't here, if they might have gotten the flag by now. I did kill three people in the very beginning, as you well remember. Um, so it is a really fun kit to use. Um, and... Uh, yeah, back to the subject of this new series, CPF Adventures. Um, tell me if you guys like it below. I really want to get some feedback on this. I don't know if you guys want more Hunger Games, or if you want Paradise, or Kingdom of Subs, or whatever you guys want. Um, but anyway, what is so, um, 
Hunger Games are a lot harder to get than this, for instance. Uh, it's way harder to get a Hunger Games win than a quick kit review together. Um, these kit reviews or CTF adventures are much easier, and I'm personally pretty comfortable talking to other people, even if, you know, like talking to you guys. Um, so I don't need to speed everything up like some people do. Um, but, sorry, I thought that guy might have been blue, I couldn't tell. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy this series, so let's just play the rest out. It doesn't appear that many of these people, uh, anybody's really coming. Oh, yep, we just won. So, um, <laughs> well then, I finished just in time. I hope you guys enjoyed this kit review. I'm not going to put another one in here. This is just going to be it. Um, I'll see you all next time. This has been your Savage with the Blizzcraft, and I hope you all have a fine day. Bye!